so we have seen that the part of the plant that grows below the ground is the root and the part of the plant that grows above the ground is the shoot and the shoot or the stem bears the leaves the flowers and the fruit and the stem the the minerals and waters that are absorbed by the roots are transferred to the stem and in turn the stem transfers it to the other parts of the plant that is the leaves because the leaves prepare the food and the stem allows the leaf to face the sunlight. Next we are going to see about the leaf. So leaf. Plants appear green in color. So when you look at a plant you see that it is green in color. This is because leaves of plant are green. So the plants appear green in color. This is because of the leaves that are green in color. The green color is because of the presence of a substance called chlorophyll. So the leaves are green in color because of, a pres because of the presence of a substance called chlorophyll in the leaves. Chlorophyll is an essential substance required by plants to make their food. So the presence of chlorophyll in the leaves allows the leaves to make its food. So chlorophyll is an essential substance required by plants to make their food. This is why leaves are called the kitchen or food factory of plants. So plants are green in color. It is because the leaves are green in color and the leaves are green because of the presence of a substance called chlorophyll and chlorophyll is the cause of a plant to prepare its own food. So chlorophyll is an essential substance required by plants to make their food. So this is why leaves are called the food factory or kitchen of the plant. Next we are going to see the structure of a leaf. There are three ma main parts of a leaf. So I have a leaf in front of me. I have a leaf and we are going to see the structure of a leaf. So there are three main parts of a leaf. Leaf base, lamina and petiole. So the three main parts of a leaf are the leaf base, the leaf lamina and pretty old. So these are the three main parts of a leaf. So a leaf has a flat part known as leaf blade. So this is the flat part of a leaf. So the leaf has a flat part known as a leaf blade. A leaf blade can be narrow or broad. So in the case of this leaf you can find that the leaf blade is narrow. But if we go in for plants like your plantain uh, leaf, you see it is quite huge and the leaf base is broad. So a leaf blade can be narrow or broad. It is flattened so that it can absorb the maximum amount of sunlight. So a leaf is flattened. You can see the leaf is flattened. This is because it needs to absorb the maximum amount of sunlight. With the presence of sunlight only, a plant can prepare its food. So it is flattened so that it can absorb the maximum amount of sunlight. The upper and lower sides of a leaf blade are somewhat in different color. So if you take notice of this leaf, the upper and lower part is somewhat different in color. The upper side is dark and smooth and the lower side is light in color and rough. So the upper part is dark in color and smooth whereas the lower part is light in color and very rough. The tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. So this tip, the tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. So let us see the structure of a leaf. First we have seen that the, main part, the three main parts of the leaf are the leaf base, the leaf lamina and the petiole. So a leaf has a flat part known as leaf blade. So a leaf blade is a flat part of the leaf and it can be broad or narrow depending on the plant. It is flattened so that the leaf is flattened so that it can absorb maximum amount of sunlight. 
the upper and lower sides of a leaf blade are somewhat different so if you take notice of the upper and lower side of a leaf it is different the upper part is dark in color and smooth and the lower part is light in color and very rough and the topmost the upper the tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex so then let us move on to the center of the leaf so i hope you have understood the leaf and why is it green in color it is green in color because of the presence of a substance called chlorophyll and chlorophyll is very essential because it helps the leaf to prepare the food and hence a leaf is called the uh, kitchen or the food factory of a plant and then we have seen the structure of a leaf that is the leaf base the leaf lamina and the petiole and the leaf is flat because it can absorb the maximum amount of sunlight so these are the structure of a leaf let us move on to the remaining structure of the leaf so we have seen that the three main parts of the leaf are the leaf base the leaf lamina and the petiole and the leaf is always flat because it is uh, able to absorb maximum amount of sunlight so in the center of the leaf runs the main vein called the midrib so if you take note of this this is called the main vein that is the midrib a lot many side veins emerge and these are the side veins so if you take notice of this this is the main vein that is the midrib and a lot of veins arise from so these are the veins that arise from the main vein that is the midrib veins help in transporting so we are going to see the function of the veins why is there the presence of veins in a leaf so veins help in transporting food water and minerals to the different parts of a plant so this is the main vein or the midrib and from it small veins emerge that is from the midrib small veins emerge and the veins help in transporting food water and minerals to the different parts of the plant the underside of leaf contains tiny openings so if you turn the side of the leaf and through a microscope you can see that there are small openings on the underside of the leaf so the underside of leaf contains tiny openings called stomata so the underside of leaf contain tiny openings called stomata the stomata are so small that we cannot see them with a naked eye so normally if we take a look at the leaf we cannot see the small tiny openings called stomata so that's why we say that we cannot see them with our naked eye during photosynthesis the carbon dioxide flows in so when the plant is preparing its food during photosynthesis the carbon dioxide flows in and water vapor and oxygen flow out through the stomata so it is only through the stomata during photosynthesis oxygen and water vapor flow out through the stomata the petiole or the stalk of the leaf so this is the petiole or the stalk of the leaf so this is the stalk of the leaf attaches the leaf blade to the stem so say if this is the stem of the leaf the petiole or the leaf stalk attaches it to the stem so the petiole or the stalk of the leaf attaches the leaf blade to the stem it helps in the supply of water and food similar to stem so what is the uh, function of a stalk it supplies water and food just like the stem stipules are small leaf like pair that are found at the base of the petiole of many flowering plants so next we'll be seeing what are the two types of plants that is the flowering and the non flowering plants plants prepare their food in the form of simple sugar or glucose plants use glucose for their growth and development 
so like humans how they use food for the growth and development plants use glucose for their growth and development extra food is stored in the plant parts like so the extra food that is there is stored in the plant parts like the leaves stems or roots so we have seen that example of tap root that stores food in the roots that is your carrot radish etc we eat the parts of the plant in which food is stored and we consume the parts of the plant where the food is stored so let us move on to the same so in the center there runs the main vein or the midrib is otherwise called the main vein is all otherwise called as the midrib and from the midrib small veins emerge from the leaf and the vein the main function of the vein is to transport food and minerals to the different parts of the plant on the underside of the leaf there is the presence of small tiny openings called stomata and these stomata cannot be seen with a naked eye and during photosynthesis water vapor and oxygen flow out from this stomata the petiole or the stalk of the leaf helps in the supply of water and minerals similar to the stem and it is responsible for attaching the leaf to the stem and the remaining part the excess of food is stored in the remaining parts of the plant like the leaves the fruits leaves fruits or stems or roots and we consume those parts that food is stored in so this is the structure of a leaf and the three main parts are the leaf base the leaf blade and the petiole and we have seen that the leaf is the kitchen or the food factory of a plant because it prepares the food and the the leaf is green in color or the plants are green in color only because of the presence of a substance called chlorophyll so the chlorophyll is the main substance for giving color to the leaves and helps in the preparation of the food and a leaf is flat because it allows maximum amount absorption of maximum amount of sunlight because only in the presence of sunlight a leaf can prepare its food